in the efforts to rid a Providence courthouse of bed bugs once and for all. We're told a bed bug sniffing dog will be called in to help. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has been tracking the story since it began. She joins us now live from the newsroom with the latest. Steph. Mike, the courthouse has been treated for bed bugs several times over the last month. Now we're told a bed bug sniffing dog will go in on Saturday to inspect for pests. On Thursday, the Rhode Island Judiciary held a private meeting with employees of the Garrahy Judicial Complex after the union that represents many of them has demanded the building be closed to treat for bed bugs. We've said throughout that we had a finding um, during the entire run of this of five confirmed bed bugs and by no means did we feel as though that presented an, any type of infestation. After the 90 minute meeting, state court administrator Joe Baxter told reporters a canine that can detect bed bugs will be inspecting the building on Saturday. And the canine group will go through this building floors one through six and it will be an enhanced effort on our part to once again uh, inspect the building and where necessary, if necessary, treat the building. The meeting was very informative. They answered a lot of questions. Jim Santorini, who works for the local Council 94 union that represents court clerks and sheriffs, commended the court for holding the meeting and bringing in an entomologist to give expert information. But still, they filed three health and safety grievances over the bugs. The bottom line is, the last as recently as uh, yesterday, we were informed and supplied a picture of an alleged bug bite uh, that occurred on the third floor. Uh, of the courthouse. So while we understand and we do appreciate the court is making some strenuous efforts uh, to eradicate the pests, the concern for health and safety go on. And the court has been criticized for not notifying the public about the bed bug situation. Thousands use that courthouse every day. Baxter defended that decision today, saying he's notified the public through the media. But the courts confirmed the presence of bed bugs in late August. Neither the press nor the public was notified until we started asking questions on September 13th. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.